Hello and welcome back to the Slang Podcast with me, your host, Louisa May Adams. This show will give you the chance to hear, understand the origins and meanings of new slang and to use them immediately. So let's get started. My friend Kelly used to work at an Italian pizzeria in Canterbury. She worked with many Italian chefs and would compliment them on their daily pasta specials, saying that the pasta looked sick. The chef's response was usually one of embarrassment or anger, thinking she had insulted their cooking, a basic cardinal sin in Italy. This led to an awkward work environment, to say the least, until, she explained, sick was not an insult at all, but in fact a compliment. Sick, S-I-C-K, in formal English means to not be in good health. If you are sick, you should stay at home, get lots of rest and maybe go to the doctor. However, as we know, slang likes to make every formal word very confusing, just like back slang. If you can't remember what this is, go back and check out our episode 3 on our website. So in slang, sick is an adjective describing something that is cool or excellent. To describe something as sick is to give it a compliment. For example, wow, your new car is so sick. This word stems from the US, and its early uses have been traced to jazz slang, popular in the 1920s onwards. It began to find popularity and was frequently used in the UK from the early 2000s. So if someone from the UK comments that you look sick, don't worry, you don't need to rush home and check your temperature. You look great. That's the end of our episode, so remember to tune in for our next one and see what new slang we have in store for you. You can find us on our website, theslangpodcast.com, and from there you can see our transcript and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more apps. Or head over to our Facebook page, The Slang Podcast, for updates and more slang.